Hey y'all, it's Brittany. I'm back. You're probably wondering why I have these. Hold on, let me get my Vanna White on. These items here. And guess what I'm going to do? Hannah! Too much? I'm sorry. Hope you guys aren't motion sickness. Anywho, um, yeah, I've actually only done henna once before. This will be my second time. So I'm going to show you my mix. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got my styrofoam cup. The reason why I'm using styrofoam is because um, this stains and I want things that I can throw away after I'm done using it. Also, because I couldn't find a plastic knife or a plastic spoon, so I'm going to use this. Hopefully this can stir pretty well. And... Yeah, so let me grab my henna. This is going to be kind of hard to do with one hand. So pretty much strength in the lower. Okay, if you, I know somebody's going to ask. Okay, hold on. It is the Mahandi, I guess that's how you say it. Mahandi henna. Okay, so I had to put that down so I can get all the rest of my henna out. So that's just henna straight up the bag. Okay, again, that's what that is. So I'm also going to use some... Crap, you can't see that. What well, says Cassia Ovate um, powder? That's what it is. And this stuff, it doesn't get this doesn't actually give you any color, but it does give um, help with conditioning. Um, henna is a is a good conditioning treatment as well as an alternative. To natural hair color and but yeah so far that's it I'm also going to put in you need an acid to uh, activate the color so I'm going to take this lemon that I've been I know it kind of looks kind of gross but I've actually been you know uh, I don't know what it's called but where you juice yeah get it all soft and get the juices flowing and such so I'm going to take that. I'm so sorry. Next time I do this, I'll be more professional. All right. Smell it. Yeah. Disgusting. Again, not measuring. Let me get down so y'all can see. Come on. Okay. Just a little bit of that just to activate all the juices and such. And then, because it's... Um, the henna smells kind of earthy and I don't like that ground hole kind of smell. So I'm going to add in some conditioner. It doesn't matter which kind, but I'm just going to use the Tresemme Naturals um, conditioner. Again, no spoon. Okay, I'm all um, mixed up. And it's, I guess, I don't even know how many ounces this is, but yeah, I'm all mixed up. Yeah, and it's kind of, it's still kind of creamy. I'm going to let it sit, let me see, about four hours. And I'm going to put it on to, I'm going to wash, first I'm going to wash my hair. Then I'm going to, um, after I wash it, make sure, you know, and actually wash it with my shampoo. Then I'm going to put the henna on. And then I'm going to, what am I going to do after that? Wash henna, and then I'm gonna co-wash this. I have to wash it out, so I'm gonna have to co-wash. So we'll see once we get to that step. But this is it, and I did add a little bit of olive oil. On this.
just wash my um, sorry took the rest of the henna out and and um and I color washed um, and <laughs> I had to clean up because it left a mess but yeah so all I did was just towel dry my hair uh, not towel dry I'm sorry um, t-shirt dry and I actually actually haven't even seen it yet. There's still a little bit of a, oh, it's a lot in there. It's like everywhere. But, yeah, I wonder, can you see it? Hold on, let me see. You see all those little deb debris? Like here. That's just from the henna. I guess I, it needed to be, to be separated a little bit more that they didn't when they manufactured it or whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get a better light so you can see. I don't know if you can. If you can see any color, any color payoff at all. Um, here we go. Yeah, like my hair was already kind of brown before before I did my first henna, so it look you can see it in the sun, um, and then now. Instead of being brown, it looks reddish brown in the sun. So I'm thinking since this is the second time, it'll look even more reddish brown. So anywho, what I just want to show you it's really soft. Um, I did add extra ACV to my mixture just to, you know, to get it uh, more, more uh, smooth and applicable or whatever. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it kind of feels like a protein treatment. So my hair feels stronger. It feels really good. I, I like it. It's really, really soft. So, yeah, I'm about to slick it back into a puff or something. And, yeah, so that's the end of that. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.